Hello everyone. So this is a part two. We are doing this mini project. We are calling this one as a enterprise network design mini project. This is a typical network we are doing. Part one already we done. You can watch that video. And this is a part two. In this one, we in the part one just we design the network whatever we are using, and now we are going to do the configuration. So configuration we need to do. This is a enterprise network. We have the company here, and we need to do the configuration here. So this is simple, not that much stuff. And what we can do now here in this one, we need to do the configuration. So I will start doing the configuration here. I will write R1 configuration. I will start from the top R1 configuration. So before that one, let me put the name. This is the uh, mini project. Later I will update the name. Now I will write mini project, something like that. And here I will do. enable config t whatever we are doing from starting host name r1 and interface we need to assign the ip address here whatever ip we have interface f0 by 1 ip address you have here 192.168. dot what will be that one 12. dot 1 255.255.255.0 255 no shut Which one I done? This one. If I, if you want, I can move here so you can see clearly that one. This twelve dot one here, twelve dot two here. So this interface I configure. Now I need to do this one F zero by zero. So as we need to do very fast, so I can copy and paste and modify the uh, whatever we need to modify like interface and IP address here. Thirteen dot one. So this will be thirteen dot one. So R one interface we done. Now we need to enable the OSPF. I will write here router OSPF one. Then interface F zero by zero IP OSPF OSPF one area. Here you need to observe carefully. You are applying the OSPF under this interface F zero by zero. And here area is one, so you need to write here area one. And now you have another interface that is F zero by one, so you need to write. Let me copy this, and we can paste and we can modify as per our requirement. See here, this interface is F zero by one, but here area is zero here. You don't have here here area is one. This is area zero. So R one configuration is done successfully. we can copy and paste in the r1 and just check if we have any typing error or any error we can verify that one so this is the r1 i pasted here and you can check here everything is working perfectly if you face any problem let me know and here no issue everything is okay no error nothing r1 configuration i done i will save the configuration here now we need to look the r2 So for R two, I will copy the R one configuration. I will paste here same thing what we have, and then we will do here. If you see, this is the R two. We can say this is the R two router two, and this also router two. You have interface F zero by zero here. So this should be F zero by zero, and this should be two. Here is F zero by one, so this will be F zero by one, and here will be twenty four. So you can write here twenty four, twenty four dot one here, and you need to enable the OSPF. If you see this interface F zero by zero, this will be in the area zero. This is the same procedure. You need to write router OSPF, whatever process ID you want to use, you can use. I am using one. So router OSPF one, then interface F zero by zero. This is the interface F zero by zero. I told. IP OSPF one area zero because this is area zero and here is area two, so this point should be two. This interface F zero by one. So R two configuration is also completed successfully. We can copy and we can paste this also. Go here, go here, and we can paste here. Configuration whatever we done here. I will save the configuration here. Here some issue I think I done something wrong here. Let's see why we are getting this issue. Here, what issue we have here? I pasted. This is the interface. 
something wrong here i think ipo spf os pf1 okay here we need to give the space i forget to give the space that is a problem here let me give the space here like this again i will copy and paste this thing here okay now r2 configuration is also done i will save the configuration if you want to verify right show ip interface brief just to check you have the ip address assigned correctly to the interface and then you can write show ip root okay show ip root okay because still this network is not up that's why it is not uh, you are not getting any root here but you can write show ip osp of neighbor and you have the neighbor here you are inside the r2 and you are getting the neighbor is you are inside r2 this is a r2 router and you have the neighbor this ip they taken 13.1 so this is the neighbor id so everything is okay no problem for this two router now we can go for the next router so if you see this is a next router you have r4 so we will do the r4 configuration now so what i will do i will just copy and paste whatever we done in the r2 i will paste and then we will modify as per our requirement so here r4 or yeah r4 or we can do r3 first so we can say this is r3 this is r3 R3 F0 by 0 is connecting to 13.2. Okay, here this one. Which one I am saying? This is the R3. This router is R3. This interface is connecting above. So here we assign 13.1. So this interface should be 13.2. So we will do that one now. So what I will do here? This one 13.2. And now here this F0 by 1. This will be the different thing here what we will write in this one we need to do the sub interface so you will go under the interface you write interface f0 by 1 whatever the main interface you have you will go under that main interface you will write interface f0 by 1 you will write no ip address no shut okay then after that you will do the sub interface you will write interface f0 by 1 dot 10 for vlan 10 we will do this then encapsulation dot 1q and put the vlan number for which vlan you are doing this i am doing for vlan 10 and what gateway you will give what ip you will assign for the vlan 10 i will assign 192.168.10.1 and give the subnet mask we are using the classful ip and here no need to write no shut because already this main interface you write no shut so here no need to write This is the sub interface for which VLAN VLAN 10. Now we need to do same thing for VLAN 20. So I will put here 20. I will put here 20. I will put here 20. This is the sub interface for VLAN 20. So this one is also done. After that, what you need to do? You need to enable the OSPF here. You need to do the OSPF here. So here, this is the router OSPF one, and then we can write here like. Uh, <clears throat> what we can write here we can write sub interface here so i can copy and we can say this is the area what you have the below one here the below one here i can put this one as this one i am saying this is the area 0 here also area 0 so now here what i am writing here i need to do the sub interface so what i will do just i will put like this so router 